Hello everybody! SJW White Knight here. Uh, at least that was my uh, Halloween costume. Uh, we all had some costumes over at the breakfast channel on Halloween. And uh, mine was just sitting here at my desk. I decided to put it back on because it's warm. It's actually a, a bit cooler today than it was yesterday and the day before. Um, sorry, I haven't posted a lot lately. I did have a video that I was going to post yesterday uh, because I dropped off my ballot. But uh, what happened was I decided that... Uh, my address was right on the ballot, so I could not uh, really put out this video where I, I, I got my ballot in my hand there, and then I drop it in the box right there. Yeah, I, I decided I can't put that out because I'm going to dox myself, you know, and that's just not good. You know, we, we live in a... Uh, a terrible time where people are, are very entrenched um, that they, they see somebody wearing a pussy hat and they're like ah kill you know um, anyways <sighs> what I want to talk to you guys about today and this is the day before the election in 2020 is that uh Recently, I reconnected with uh, a couple friends, one of whom, uh, you know, he he's given to the uh, conservative mindset now, you know, and, and people are very active and vocal about their politics in uh, the lead up to the election. And we've been talking, and uh, he can't believe how uh, unfazed I am by the laptop from hell. Uh, that's that's how it was uh, put in the debates, you know, by, by President Trump. That's how it's been put out by Rudy Giuliani. Um, in, you know, in, in most of the places where I would see it talked about, it's those two, right? Of course, there's other people talking about it, but... I've learned so much going down this rabbit hole. Uh, the first of which is uh, the subreddit group called The Donald that was on Reddit that got uh, banned from Reddit. They actually reformed under a different website called uh, thedonald.win. And uh, just as bad as, as The Donald that it was before, but, you know... Now no one can kick them off uh, their own website, so there's that. But uh, my my good friend Alan from back in the day, I've known this guy uh, since I was a soldier in the army. Uh, we're talking about all the way back in whew, 1998, I think I met him. So 22 years of friendship, right? My life has led me to my political beliefs, and his life has led him to his. Um, he he showed me the the contents of the the laptop from hell, as they had been cataloged by the Donald website, right? <clears throat> and he he swore up and down that there was proof of some things. Uh, that were on there, but uh, I, I've done even more of my own deep dive into this. And uh, there's a lot of different places that are saying that uh, Hunter Biden uh, had kitty porn, right? Um, on his website, and or it's not on his website, on his laptop. And I have not found any of this, but you know, any site that I would look at probably would not host any of this you know i haven't had my eyes scarred by uh anything like that but i have seen uh plenty of uh leaked intimate videos of hunter biden and uh if you don't want to go look at yourself and you just want the report for me here goes 
Dude is about two inches shy of Tommy Lee. It's like a little baby's arm is popped off of his crotch. Like it, it's he's 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 a uh, sporting a winner. Um, and he uh, in these videos, uh, aside from having multiple partners, you know, in, in the videos, um, he acts like a 13 year old and as somebody who is familiar with the science of addictions i can tell you that you know people's their 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 social skills and and just their maturity seems to freeze when they start doing drugs and alcohol and then they start growing again once they get sober you know but uh, you can really be frozen in time in whatever sort of personality that you had and i would say Maybe he got frozen in time at, at, at like age of 13, right? So the moral of the story, people, is uh, don't be rich. <laughs> because if you're rich, you're going to have spoiled kids who do drugs uh, with, a, with impunity, and then they're going to be very immature about it. And they're going to do things like make a whole bunch of videos of them doing uh, immature things. Now... I would say that it is not completely impossible that all of these videos were, uh, you know, faked, but I would say it's implausible. I think that uh, they're probably real. They're probably not deep fake videos. Um, there's a lot of information in those videos as to the the physical nature of, of Hunter Biden's body that you wouldn't get unless, you know, you were intimately close with him such as the size of his uh manhood and also uh the type of tattoos he has on his back which are in one of the leaked photos i also i can't really say because of the way that it's all being hosted that these actually came from the laptop from hell these leaks could be on the side of the laptop from hell story you know, because of uh, the chain of custody of where this all came from, it could be that, uh, like some people have been saying in, in other places that I researched, that uh, Hunter Biden had his own account on a popular, very regular uh, website. I, I don't want to you know give too many breadcrumbs to lead people to it, but he had his own uh, account where he was sharing his own personal videos to friends, right? And some of that was public, but some of it you would have to be friended to him, but there was, you know, almost a thousand people friended with him, so who leaked it? Who knows, you know? Um, I always found the story of uh, how they came into possession of the laptop to be kind of suspect you know just just the way that my mind works right we're in the belief zone here a lot of this is not fact that i'm talking about this is my opinions here okay so uh why would somebody who lives in california be albeit he he travels around the world why would somebody who lives in california take a laptop full of sensitive stuff and drop it off at a computer repair store in Delaware um, why would you be in Delaware you know why would you want that place to repair that computer when you know you know what horrible stuff is on it you know now yes he does have the mind of like a 13 year old based on all that I saw uh, which I can't unsee but um why would you do that? You know, it seems like if somebody were were to uh, want to plant some evidence like that, they would gather up all the stuff they they wanted people to see, put it on a laptop, slap a sticker from Bo Biden's uh, charity on the outside the Bo Biden Foundation, just so that the, you know it looked like it came from the Bidens, and, and then like turn it into the store, and then maybe you know tip off the store. Like if if that if we're going to go Russia, Russia, Russia on this, 
if we're going to do like it's a diff disinformation, that's a little bit more plausible than Crackhead just randomly flies to Delaware to drop something off, right? But <clears throat> again, we're in the opinion zone here. There is another explanation that I uh, think that that might be the case, and that is that uh, Bo Biden's widow, uh, Hallie Biden, does live in Delaware. So it, it is possible that uh, what we're all seeing on the internet now could be a leak that falls under the category of revenge porn because... Uh, what what has been established is that when Bo Biden died, the the good son out of the two that Joe had, like Cain versus Abel, right? When Bo Biden died, Hunter Biden was uh, you know grief stricken, and so was Hallie Biden, and that that's Bo Biden's you know widow. They they consoled each other for about two years um they had a relationship and <clears throat> this is public knowledge that that part right uh, but part of the leaks which uh are very suspect uh in some of the photos that they say that they they gleaned from the quote-unquote laptop um, which look a lot more like stuff that would come out of a phone. Um, it's a, a bunch of texts where Hunter Biden is angry at family members and whatnot that they are accusing him of uh, being inappropriate with Hallie Biden's daughter, uh, Natalie. And there's a lot of uh, different outlets who would never make these connections because of, you know, trying to protect the identity of victims, right? Like, who's, you know, is, is Hallie a victim? Is, is her daughter a victim? I don't know. Did anything happen? Don't know. But if you were to read these tweet, the sorry, these texts, and believe that they actually were leaked from Hunter Biden stuff and you believe that these were his words, you might think, uh, as Shakespeare would put it, thou protesteth too much. It, it seems like you know, maybe there might be something to this. Uh, the, the texts say things to the effect of he's not allowed around certain family members unless his father Joe is present. Which, again, reminds me of the, the kind of uh, sanctions you would put on a teenager, not a 40-year-old, uh, because his maturity is stunted. Uh, in addition to all the different weird uh, pictures uh, on different websites hosted, or hosted on websites that are owned by Steve Bannon, no less... Uh, the GTV website, which is all about uh, fighting against uh, the Chinese Communist Party, and just you know, so happens to include uh, Hunter Biden videos in the mix some, somehow. Um, there's a disclaimer on on the GTV.org website all about that, but it's kind of you know, square peg, round hole. It has nothing to do with China, but, you know, they, they say it kind of does. Um, there were some photos of Hunter Biden weighing cocaine, Hunter Biden uh, testing the purity of cocaine. Um, there was one downshot of his own manhood with a row of M&Ms on it, which you could probably use to uh, ascertain the actual length of his manhood. Um, he was able to balance a couple. They, they weren't, uh, like, touching each other, the M&Ms. You know, it wasn't like a, an absolute line. But, but just by, you know, taking the M&Ms in the shot, you could, you could get 
But you know, there are Photoshop gods here that could do that kind of stuff where they make measurements. But uh, good size. Uh, <laughs> that's that's. If you got nothing else from this video, that's all. That's all that I really learned, right? But uh, I would say nothing in the videos uh, at all has anything to do with the election. Anything. Um, Joe Biden had two sons. One was good. One was bad. You know, and people might say, you know, if he can't rein in his own son, how can he be president? Well, his other son was. Uh, attorney general of a state you know they th they can't all be good ones <laughs> you know and uh you know addiction does some horrible things to people's lives it really does and so yeah i don't hold anything that the son does as a sin against the father you know i don't ha hold anything that the father does as a sin against the sun you know um so if people think that uh the fact that he made videos of himself uh is just a horrible thing and you know that's fine but that has nothing to do with joe biden you know um and it could be that uh People will construe Joe Biden trying to reconcile his, his family as some sort of evidence of a cover-up of Hunter doing bad things within the family. Could be. But uh, even then, that doesn't have anything to do with the election as much as it does, you know, Joe Biden just trying to exist after the loss of his uh, son, Bo and the aftermath you know and and trying to pull his family back together while his other son is you know actively in a cocaine binge with uh the mind of a 13 year old you know um doing dam damage control on your own family like that i i would not uh hold against anyone but really has nothing to do with the election. Now, on the side of that supposed leak, there are there are uh, there are leaks of other things and and a report that was compiled that uh, f investigating this Hunter Biden stuff would lead you to also find. Right, and these have nothing to do with any supposed laptop being uncovered, um, but they do have to do with business ties of Hunter Biden to uh, companies in China and him making investments into a certain company, and then that investment now being worth far more than it was a couple years ago. Because uh, the Chinese Communist Party can manipulate their own market to make whatever business they want within it uh, a little bit more profitable, right? Uh, the profit margin here that we're talking is uh, in the tens of millions of dollars. You know, it's a little... Markets are kind of, you know vague when yet you, you know you have to go through a process to liquidate stuff but it's in the tens of millions of dollars right um when i look at this uh, and how hunter biden may might have been plying his family name in order to make a fortune by saying that you know he had access to his own father because you know he's a son and then using that to become you know a little bit more rich and I, and I look at the level that he achieved with it, with which is, you know, a couple tens of millions of dollars. It actually, uh, ethically, it's a wash against what's happening in the, in the Trump campaign with, you know, the obvious nepotism of hiring his own family to be uh, government uh, employees, for one, uh, but also... Uh, the way that there are branding deals all across the world for the Trump name 
where as a consulting fee his kids have gotten millions of dollars even though they are you know they they have positions within the trump organization to be outside consultants at the same time is a business no-no it's, it's a very bad thing um and the the monetary values of this uh, far exceed what uh, we're, what we're talking about with the uh, leaks and compiled reports about Hunter Biden, right? Um, and I'm trying to concede that these leaks might be true, right? If they were true, what one of the problems I have is that it's been uh, framed as an October surprise. And October surprises, you know, things that are meant to affect the election right before the election, I'm kind of numb to. After the FBI letter from James Comey uh, affecting the 2016 election, you know, in the you know immediate run-up to the election, I am very wary of anything that comes out right before the election, you know. Um, I give more credence to uh, the Borat movie having Rudy Giuliani with his hands down his pants, you know, because I can look and see like like how far of a degree did they let this uh, gag go before they stopped it? You know, would it have gone further? And I and I think yeah, why was he even in that back bedroom in the first place? Why did he follow her back there? You know, why did he lay down the way he did? Who tucks in their pants? Uh, who tucks their shirt into their pants while they're laying down on a bed? You know, the way that he touched her arm seemed to, you know... He he was waiting for her to go down on him, basically. Um, I've made my decision about that video. You can make your own sub subjective opinion about the video. Watch it yourself. It's on Amazon Prime. You know, the Borat subsequent movie film. But even then, it was framed as an October surprise, right? And I don't like that. If somebody is doing something wrong that the whole rest of the world should know about before they start making political decisions, you should let everybody know right away. Not wait for us the, the, the time that it's most politically... Uh, advantageous to try to get like the the right bump so that it's in people's minds what, right when they're at the polls. Uh, if a lot of this stuff that was known for uh, a year and a half about Hunter Biden was out and being talked about, um, it might have been in play during the time that say uh, the Democratic primaries were going on. Right, we might not even have joe biden there in the first place so why wait for joe biden to to be in in the presidential election why not spring it back when he was in the primaries oh well they might have had dirt on everyone but it's all being saved for for just when they're about to uh you know be elected for president and then they get hit with it. Maybe all the rest of the politicians also had dirt, you know. But my mind's making little connections like this of like, I really, really hate your timing. I want to know everything right away. Just like uh, President Trump hiding the, uh, the severity of the coronavirus from the American people and downplaying it to our faces in the early stages of the, the uh, outbreak in the U.S., I want the truth to be known, you know, come what may. And I don't care about the the political advantage that, that people are trying to, you know, wean out of all of these things. I want the public to know. And when the public has it hidden from them, I consider that an injury to the public. So uh, everyone who was holding on to this hunter biden stuff for the right time to release it i hate you i i don't like you because of the way that you're trying to exploit it for political gain uh you know even borat 
you know, when this stuff happened, it should have been released. Now, I, I understand that's actually his shtick, making these movies uh, with all of these gags. And part of it, like the uh, the uh, gun rally in Olympia, Washington, where he was singing on the stage, and, you know, footage of that leaked out, and, and uh, you know, our other YouTube friend, Robert Wallace, actually attended that same event. And uh, we were like, hey, hey, you went to the event that Borat got. Um, yeah. Even even that, I mean, it, it troubles me that Amazon held on to this movie and didn't release it until people had already started voting. You know? People started early voting, like, you know, mid-October. They don't release the movie till the end of October. A whole bunch of people, millions and millions of people, had already voted in America through mail-in ballots. And they had not had the opportunity to see whether or not the president's lawyer had his hands down his pants with somebody who was ostensibly underage, but actually an overage actor. I would have wanted all of those voters to be informed of that, if that in fact existed. But Amazon decided to hold on to this information, right? And I happen to know a little bit of, of a, a tidbit of other information that coupled with that fact really gives me pause. Jeff Bezos is looking at whether or not he wants to make an offer on CNN. So the same guy who's going to hold this news from us until millions of people have already voted, and then he's going to try to release it right before the election to try to make, maybe time the best political impact of this story. That guy, owner of Amazon, that guy's trying to buy a trusted news organization that many people on the left look to for their news. <sighs> so yeah, I doubt my video is going to get more than a couple hundred views, so I don't think that this is going to affect the election at all. But I did think about like whether or not I wanted to make this video before or after the election. Um... It was a thought that I had, but I, I, I would rather have my thoughts out there uh, when they happened, just for that whole message to the video archaeologists of a hundred years from now as to what was actually going through my mind during all of this, you know? It's the day before the election, uh, and... Uh, I've got a lot of anxiety, and so do a lot of my friends, because uh, we don't trust anything. We don't trust videos. We don't trust uh, political parties that, that time the release of certain information. Uh, we certainly don't trust polls after 2016. Nobody trusts anything. And... Uh, <laughs> The ballot box that I chose to drop off my, my ballot at, we chose it because it was in front of uh, City Hall, right next to the police station, and we were very happy to see that the police had stationed a car with a police officer right outside that ballot box to ensure its safety. Because we don't trust All right, guys, one last time. I'll put the, the hat on from my Halloween costume. There you go. There's your pose. Uh, caption it as you will.